Hey y'all, Dark Cavalry here with another video. I know we've been slacking, but we're gonna get back into the grind. And this is one of the games I'll be doing a lot of content for Destruction Osters, a new PS5 exclusive. It just came out three days ago for PS Plus member. It's free right now. You can tell the game's already asked, but it's still a great game and it's very fun. So this point of the video is me talking about all the game modes, right? And explaining how they work. They're very confusing. I'm gonna go with the ones that are harder to understand. First one we're going up with is stockpile, right? Um, you can read the description in the bottom right but even with reading it not enough as you can see i picked blue fang right um the reason i picked blue fang is because i think he's the best character for the game mode because it's all about generating gears i'm explaining how this game mode works right now so both teams starts off with both command posts right a or c um b is neutral no matter what and it, this game was a mixture of domination and capture flag that's the best way i could describe this right so you got to generate gears and you're wondering how does that work so all you got to do is destroy an enemy vehicle. As you can see, my teammate destroys the enemy vehicle, gears are on the ground. And the only way to grab these gears, which is very important, is by getting off your vehicle and grabbing the gears, right? And hoping that no one destroys your car. That way you can get back in your car, drive to wherever you want to deposit it, or you just got to walk there, right? So you see, I walked to B. Hit, I lost track of my car because I guess someone hit it. We deposit four gears. You see on the top middle, it went up plus four. We don't have the full, we probably got it like around 40%, you could say. So that's important to note because that means it's another, the enemy team deposits four, it just go back to neutral. As you can see, I'm using Razor and the perfect, I get a double KO because I destroyed his vehicle and I killed the person on the ground. That's generated me a lot of gears for my team. I get the gears, get back in my vehicle. So the cool thing in this game, what I guess what makes it different is that you're constantly getting out of your vehicle and hoping no one hits you. And there's more like hand-to-hand -hand combat with your character instead of being always in a vehicle. So that's the only difference in the game mode. I guess that's the point they were going with in this. So as you can see, I just posted some of the gears and that's pretty much it. There's nothing much else to this game mode besides you want to use a character that knows that can destroy vehicles real good and real fast or get KOs easily on ground units. And as you can see, you can kick people off to prevent them from depositing gears. That's one of the cool things of the game mode, like I was saying. It's more of a ground uh, fighting style, which is different compared to all the other game modes where you're only on the ground to just get your super vehicle, right, and just continue on. So, as you can see, I, I got the KO and we just get more gears and deposit it. And my team is doing great right now and that's pretty much how this works. So, important, destroy vehicles or get KOs to generate gears and deposit them at the A, B, or C. And prevent the enemy from depositing it by just kicking them off when they go on the point if you're near them, right? And that's pretty much how this works. So now let's talk about the next game mode I want to say. And a few here. You see with Razor, I did very good. And I think now we're going to go with Carnado. So now we're going to go with Carnado guys and Carnado is my favorite game mode in the game overall. Uh, Griffo is up there but Griffo is like, I'll talk about that in a few, but Griffo is a little different. But I love Carnado because it's a good balance and it's very fun and if you play with friends it's just perfect, I say. So the way Carnado works, as you see I pick Vatu, um, I think she's one of the best characters for this game mode too. Um, but like I said I'll talk about that in future content I'll be doing for tier list on this game. So Carnado, the way it works, you see on the top middle, you got gears, right? So the way this works, you generate gears by running into enemies. So you get one gear for a light hit, which is like a small tap. You get three gears for hard hits. Um, you get uh, five gears if you get annihilation, I think, or if you annihilate someone, you get probably 10. I can't remember the actual points accuracy. Um, comment below if you guys know the actual points accuracy on how much gears you get. But um, you also get gears for pushing people into the tornado in the middle, right? So the point of the game, as you can see, I ran into the middle talking about that, is that you want to generate gears, right? By hitting people, just crashing into them and not taking damage, right? And once you get a certain amount of point that you feel confident enough, you just go right into the middle of the tornado. Your car is going to get destroyed no matter what. And once you get cars get destroyed, your points goes in. So that's very important because let's say you got, you're using a car starting out you got like 30 gears or you know you're almost to the max right almost to 50. Um, with basic car the max is 50 with your supercar as you see on top is max is 80. Your supercar can carry more because you know it's a stronger vehicle right. So let's say with, with say either car you're, you have 30 almost close to the max or whatever. Important to note that 
um, if you don't deposit it and your health is low and you get hit, you lose those chance for those points and that's a GG's and then you, you could have had a chance for whatever 30 points to help your team win the game, right? So you're here using Route 2 uh, Special, I'm going to get a crazy points here, I'm already at almost 80, I got 80, I'm about to die, I deposited it because you saw the fire was on my vehicle, that was very clutch because if I don't deposit it, I lose 80 points for my team and that could possibly be the determination of you winning or losing the game to help your team, right? So always know if you're low on health, the way I look at it, if you're halfway on health on a basic vehicle, deposit it if you got points. If you're low on health on your super, go real fast to deposit it. Even at half health, consider it depending how much damage you're taking and just deposit a point because every point matters in this game mode and it's pretty much all about doing damage, generating points, right, doing hard hits and not dying with those points. So as you can see, we had a great game, Revatu, and that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy, but this is the best game mode. Comment below what you guys think of this game mode. And now we'll talk about Gridfall. Now let's go with Gridfall, y'all. So Gridfall is pretty basic. It's a battle royale, right? Um, here, the best character, I'm going to say, is Blue Fang. You guys could tell me what you guys think of the best character in the comment below, but I'll be making tier lists on talking about this. So it's pretty basic. It's 16 players, right, in a map where the map is falling down so it's kind of like fall guys where the map is like breaking so you see these um plates on the ground they'll start to fall and that means once it starts to fall there'll be a lot of potholes where you can just fall off and die and so the point of the game is not getting hit by enemy vehicles right other players and just staying alive until the whoever can last the longest at the end of the game so you see i skip here ahead uh, you see now there's more potholes everywhere I think there's only four other players alive. I get my vehicle and this is going to see, you're going to see why Blue Fang is very great here. I see two guys fighting over here. I'm just going to go after them, use Blue Fang's ability, get some kills and that's about it. So important note, you see that top left, that little gear symbol by my number one symbol on my name. So what that is, when you fill that up with by getting kills or doing damage, right? Mostly it goes up faster by getting KOs on other player. If you get, I think about maybe five kills, I think, or six, I don't know, quote me on that. Um, if you guys think, if you know the actual number, but you can get an extra life, right? Meaning if you do die in this game mode, which you only got one life, um, you get you get your life back and you just spawn. That is very rare to get because it's all about if you're getting a lot of kills. As you see, I already took out three people just in this uh, sequence. And I'm already close to getting that extra life. I won't be able to get it because there's only one player left. But that's how this works, right? So important to know you can get extra life by getting a lot of kills. And you see I got the plus one health. And now you see the top left went into two. So that's how that works. Um, it's all about the extra life. So when it says one, that means you only got one life. If it says two, that means you could die and come back alive. So that's just very important to know. But it's pretty simple. Battle Royale. Um, pretty much nothing else to it, guys. Just stay alive and get some kills and to get an extra life. All right, yeah, we're almost done if you stayed with me this long. So last game mode is Mayhem, right? So Mayhem is pretty basic. That's why they saved it for last. It's just, anyone can understand this. I'm picking Rod 2 here again. Um, just because I think she's very great for this game mode also. So Mayhem is pretty much like Carnado, except there's no tornado in the middle and you don't got to deposit your gear. This is all about doing damage. So all you got to do is pretty much um, uh, damage enemies, right? by hitting them and you generate points on the top left and the top left will tell you how high are you from making your first place and all that stuff so you see i got five points for wrecking someone because i destroyed their car and that's pretty much how that works right so this is about hitting people and all that stuff so this is going to be important here because i'm going to show you guys you see that little middle thing that little blue orb that's only in this game mode i believe so right there that's a generate booster so you see on the top middle it says two times buff so uh, I'm trying to, if, I've been trying to figure it out, I tested it out, I can't figure out if that's two times buff for the crystals you're grabbing to get your super or two times buff for points. I, when I hit people, I do not see the two times at the you know, point system. I think it's just for crystals. Comment below if you know uh, what the difference is, but I, if it is for crystals, it did make, my, make me get my super a lot faster. So remember that, that's important if you want to get your uh, super faster, just grab that thing in the middle then you start grabbing a lot of shards right and you get your super way faster and this is why i say about is very great you see i'm doing damage here so it's very simple guys very simple game on just hit the enemy generate points and that's it guys and that's pretty much with that part right so no brainer in that one 
as you can see we did very good and we almost made it third but not enough to make it up there so that's all guys for this game one explanation i hope you guys this was helpful for y'all and that you guys understand the game once you know now you can go in there and not be as confused as me and my friends were but if you guys are interested in joining me on this game playing uh, i'd be streaming this game on twitch so you guys can join up with me i always need extra teammates for sure but um yeah guys i'll be doing a lot of content for this game i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you on the next one guys take care